Tell me if you can relate. You probably hate pictures because for some reason they always end up looking, making you busted. They always catch your wrong angles. And living in a digital world, it's almost impossible to avoid them. Meaning that you need to learn how to work with the camera. You need to learn what your angles are, what you should be doing for when that camera pops up, it always makes you look your best. Today, I'm going to give you 10 pro tips of what you should be doing when it comes to posture, how you should be standing, angles, etc. that I personally do for my Instagram as a dude that hates pictures. Seems to be working. Someone, I think. If you think so, let's hop into this video. Number one, super important, never tuck your chin. Now, this happens to a lot of people like a reflex, right? Since they hate the camera, they almost like flinch backwards as if to avoid it. Not only do you look more insecure, but you also will develop a double chin. Your face is going to add about 10 pounds. Instead, make sure you stick your head up and slightly out a little bit. This is going to elongate your neck, make you look taller, and most importantly, give you a defined jawline. Number two, don't close your eyes. Come on, that one's pretty obvious, but it's hard to do sometimes because they always catch you while you're blinking. Here's an easy trick you can do. Do the three, two, one trick where you'll close your eyes and when they say one, you open them. That way, as soon as they hit the shutter, your eyes are nice, wide and open and you're gonna look alert and overall more attractive than looking droozy like they caught you slipping. Number three, define your jawline. This is your money maker. Whether you're a girl or a guy, this thing looking sharper will make your pictures look better. Now, here's a trick that I like to do. Instead of looking head on onto camera, you wanna tilt your face slightly to the side that your jawline looks sharper. For me, it's always my left. If you look at almost all my Instagram pictures, they will always be slightly to the left because this is what makes my jawline look sharper overall. This is just about understanding yourself, understanding your body, and understanding what your angles are best because once you do, when that camera pulls out, you already know what to do. You're posing. Number four, you gotta cover those dark eye circles. If your eyes are red, tired, yellow, and especially if you got bags under your eyes, and it doesn't matter how attractive you are, those bags are gonna make you look unattractive. So if you know you're not having a good day, you didn't sleep right, you wanna start wearing frames. Glasses that can cover these imperfections to make sure that even if it's not your day, it's your day when you throw on these jade black. When you throw this on, you feel like Superman. You feel like a different man. I feel right now, more attractive. Even if you don't think I look attractive or anybody else does, it's about what you feel. And if you feel more attractive, people will think you're more attractive because of that confidence you're gonna feel. That's what a good prayer frames does when it hides your imperfection. On top of that, since it's a perfectly symmetrical structure, it'll structure your face better. That way when that picture snaps, your face looks symmetrical, therefore more attractive. Now boys, here's the issue. You see all these brands, Oakley, Persol, Ray-Ban, Prada, Gucci, Chanel, and you think, man, there's so many options, they're all 300 bucks. Here's the reality. All those brands, they're owned by one conglomerate. It's called Luxottica. They all make the same brands. They usually use lower quality products, and because the brand name is so big, they're charging you three, four, five hundred. With Jade Black, we decided to infuse it with as much quality as possible. Just to give you an example, this that you see here, that's polarized glass. And don't let people fool you, tell you that polarization is not important. Go to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, a credible, medically backed research publication, and read what they talk about polarization. People that tell you polarization is not important is either A, they don't know what they're talking about, or B, don't want to include it in their brand because obviously the process of polarizing lenses is more expensive. We're also using reinforced stainless steel, which is sturdy and heavy. We're using Italian acetate on the tips and silicone gel nose pads. Everything this has is better than what you would get at Ray-Ban. Ray-Bans cost about 300. These are 49 bucks, which is unbelievable. There's gonna be a link down below. Go ahead and check out the whole collection. We have so many different styles and designs for both men and women. And we also have a questionnaire, a quiz that you can take. Very simple, only about five questions. We're gonna recommend to you which glasses you should be wearing for your face shape. If you guys wanna check that out, it'll be linked down below. Number five, try full body. A lot of times why you look a little busted on pictures is because you're all the way into the camera. When you're this close, this thing is picking up all these imperfections. The further back you step, the smaller those imperfections become. Try taking a full body picture. Not only will you look more attractive and get to show out your outfit, because you're further out, you're adding more interest to the picture versus just taking a picture of your face, like a selfie, which is boring. Number six, you wanna make your arms look a little bigger. So when you're about to pose, it's a simple change. Instead of keeping your arms at the sides like this, what happens is since they're not flexed, they look like sticks. They look very narrow and overall makes you look smaller. As a dude, you want to photograph more muscular, more athletic. Easy thing to do is to just bring your arms up to a 90 degree pose. This naturally flexes your biceps to make them look thicker and overall your upper body look muscular and more athletic. When they take that picture of you, 
you're gonna look like a stud. Number seven, make sure your feet are standing apart. You want them to be about a shoulder width apart with some sort of gap between your thighs. If your feet are too close together, it just makes you look like you're trying to take as least space as possible because you're nervous, anxious, or insecure about yourself. Whereas when you have a shoulder width stance or maybe one where you're naturally walking, that movement, that separation makes you look more confident because it looks like you're trying to take up more space and you're comfortable with that. Number eight, this is important, never slouch. You automatically go into this mindset that you just hate it so you just get through it and start slouching because you don't even want to be there. You need the confidence to be seen in the picture. That's how they become more attractive. Therefore, you never want to slouch. Every time you see a camera, you should stand straight up with your shoulders back, rolled down, and your head up. As soon as you do this, again, you look taller, you look confident, and therefore, the picture will look better. Number nine, lean a bit forward. You never want to lean back in a photo as this creates a second chin illusion since the camera is it's pretty much coming at your worst angle possible right underneath. Instead, what you want to do is come a little bit towards the camera. This again shows initiation, it shows confidence, and overall exposes a better side of it. Finally, number 10, boys, use your profile. If for whatever reason you just hate how you look head on, you want to start taking pictures on the side. A lot of times your profile shot could be better than your head on shot. Some people look better head on versus profile. Everybody has their side and you have to take multiple pictures to see which is your favorite. So if you just can't stand your head on pictures, try taking profile pictures and see if you like them better. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are 10 tips that you can start doing right now to improve your pictures. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out Jade Black. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.